Hey guys, we are here, click on this, blow the belt show, right to bear arts, a very important topic we're dealing with today. And we're here with Ian Artemich, you might know him from a small show called Young Shelton, right? Yes. How are you doing, Ian? I'm doing wonderfully. What about yourself? I'm doing terrific. <laughs> By the way, yeah. I love the fedora. It looks amazing. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So you're here uh, trying to support the right to um, have arts in the school. How important was that to you growing up? You're still young, but you know, as a kid, as a young, young kid, did that help you out at all? Oh, of course. Yeah. I saw my first uh, musical when I was three years old, and I was absolutely hooked. So I did theater reviews for a long time, and then uh, I started acting, and uh, obviously that shaped my life a lot. Uh, I, I mean, the arts have made such a big impact on my life and so many other kids. And again, we're trying to get funding, not for Hollywood or big TV shows. We're trying to get funding for areas in middle America where kids and people in school would otherwise not be exposed to arts, which is, it's not even just about you know becoming like a painter or an actor or a singer it's also about opening up your imagination which can help you in tech it can help you uh, in, in you know, inventing it can help you in so many different fields that are very productive and help our economy a lot so actually I and I, I uh, we, we were talking about this a lot this morning for every dollar that's put into the arts approximately seven dollars come out to our economy so it really really helps you can't beat that right I mean yeah, I know right? <laughs> it's good math so you know what? If anybody knows math, it's you, right? <laughs> yes, sorry, yeah. coming from young children. No. But uh, yeah, I think I think the great thing is you know if you're not if you're not for the uh, you know the spiritual part of it or the you know the, the you know the mental health part of it with art, you're, you know the you money. can be for the actual the you know the yep. money because it, it really is good for our economy, especially after a pandemic. Right. It's yeah. pretty helpful to get people uh, you know back doing their jobs and uh, you know art is a big part of that. It's so great to see you on Young Sheldon. Um, how did that process um, happen for you? How did you get selected? for such a great role. God, honestly, it feels like it was yesterday. I, I, it's, it's funny because I, com I, it feels like we just started, and at the same time, I have no idea how this came to be. I'm so lucky, but um, basically, we got an. Uh, my, my, uh, my agent a while ago said that there was an uh, audition for a show called Young Sheldon. That was well. We didn't. It was actually called the Untitled Sheldon Project. And okay. They said it was going to be a prequel to the Big Bang Theory. I was like eight. I had never seen the Big Bang Theory, <laughs> so I went in and I basically just talked for like an hour with the, with you know Mr. Steve Malaro, Mr. Chuck Lorre, and a couple of the showrunners. And uh, I got a call back, and you know a win. We, I, I, I had a, like a three-page monologue to read, oh <laughs> so I memorized it over Christmas at my grandma's house. <laughs> so anyway, we sent that in. Did you watch the show like prior to that to get uh, practice? No, no, really. I watched like clips of Jim Parsons. I watched the uh, the famous the ball pit scene, the bazinga. Okay, yeah, bazinga. yeah, yeah. But uh, that was like it. So then we went in, and I ended up getting the part on, on our flight home. We wow. got a text that I got the part, and I was like, "What are we flying back to Virginia for?" <laughs> <laughs> now, since you um, landed the role, did you actually meet, meet with um, Jim Parsons and did he give you kind of pointers for it? Oh yeah, he uh, during the pilot he was really there a lot, and he, com he completely helped me to get kind of the character Sheldon down. Um, he is still one of our producers, and of course he does the voice of older Sheldon on the show. But he's actually in New York doing a lot of his own stuff now. But he's still a very big part of our show and the DNA of the whole Big Bang and Young Sheldon universe. Was a lot of pressure like going to a show that had such an iconic um, prequel series. You know, like, I mean, you know, the, the, having like such a great character that people loved, and for you to play him as a kid was a lot of pressure for yourself. Well, you know, it's funny. It's kind of yes and no. Yeah. I sort of went into it not fully understanding yeah. how important the character. Sheldon was so I went in like la di da yeah. and then you know as I became a bit older I understood the character and I was like oh my god <laughs> I, you know I, I, I it was a close one I could have messed that up <laughs> but uh no but I, I feel so lucky to be a part of that universe and again the whole story is just amazing. so cool yes. and so fun it takes place in the 90s correct yes sir okay yeah. okay um anything with the 90s that you you like or anything you don't like about it God, it's like a whole different universe. I mean, you know, it's too young to remember it. I know it's weird to think that it was like only 20, 30 right, years yeah. ago. But uh, oh gosh, some of the old stuff in the house, just like the old toys and things, yeah, were yeah, so yeah. crazy to me. It's so foreign. I had no idea what they were. Okay, um, any last last question? Um, any um, advice you'd give to younger actors out there? I think be kind to everybody, and I think 
never get tired of what you do because I think a lot of people kind of can get jaded uh, in any industry or field. I think always have that like enthusiasm and always be yourself and always be kind to everyone. Uh, that's good advice. <laughs> All right, Ian. I think that's advice in life. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. You're right. amazing. I'll Thank see you, you soon. You're